what's going on my people welcome back to another great episode of simone with the spizzles i'm simone bringing you guys that daily sports drip 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 so make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you subscribe because i'm trying to get 2,000 subscribers by the end of the month and i'm like hella subscribers away so do your part and subscribe to my channel it's free it ain't gonna cost you nothing but there is a link in my bio if you want to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The link is there. Um, but let's go ahead and start by talking about Kyle Lowry. Because by this point, I know some of you guys are already jumping in my comments saying no. No. But let me make my case first. First of all, we're not trading Ben. We're not trading Joel Embiid. Okay. We're adding Kyle Lowry to the roster by trading away Tobias Harris and a future first round pick. Now, y'all... <clears throat> Y'all already know. Do I have to rap to y'all again? Y'all already know. We need a point guard that can go get a bucket, that can close out a game, that's going to be an offensive threat. And Kyle Lowry is the guy. We can move Ben Simmons. He can play power forward. He can still get his triple doubles. He can still gobble up those rebounds. He can still make great passes. He can still make great decisions from the four. Okay? Like, you know how Draymond Green is, like, the glue guy for the um, Warriors? Ben can still be a glue guy without being the point guard. But the thing about... Um, Kyle Lowry, he's on an expiring contract, and he's about that life. He's carried that Raptors team further than people expected them to go last season in the playoffs. They thought that he had to have Kawhi, but no, he carried that Raptors team last year. Let's not forget about that. Kyle Lowry is about that life. That boy ain't scared to go get a bucket. He puts the team on his back, and we've continuously seen him put the Raptors team on his back. Also, Kyle Lowry is a guy that's not a that is okay with playing along superstars. He played along DeMar DeRozan. He's played alongside Kawhi. He's never had to be the only guy. He's never had to be that superstar. This is my team. He's always willing to share the team. Also, Kyle Lowry is great on defense. So I know when it comes to Bradley Bill, we're going to be sacrificing some defense. I know when it comes to Zach Levine, we're going to be sacrificing some defense. No, we're getting an all-around floor general in Kyle Lowry, okay? And Kyle Lowry is a great leader as well. I know Tobias is one of our leaders, but Kyle Lowry will come in and fit that leadership role as well. And let's talk about his numbers. So obviously the Raptors team is sucking right now. So they can go ahead and move on from Kyle Lowry, keep building around Van Vliet, keep building around Siakam, and they can get a nice power forward in um, Tobias Harris. So Kyle Lowry is averaging 19 points a game, six rebounds, seven assists, a steal, and he's drop, dropping 38% from three-point line. And now, guys, I know Tobias Harris is playing well, but for us to win this season, we're going to have to have, for us to make a real run in the playoffs, things are going to have to go perfect with Tobias Harris. Things are going to have to go perfect with Seth. We know that Kyle is consistent, and Kyle is consistent in the playoffs and gets even better in the playoffs. So I'm not, no shade of Tobias, but we know that Kyle is consistent in the playoffs. So if we had Kyle on the team, it will balance out the team so much more, and Ben can play off ball, play in the post, doesn't have to have the pressure of trying to stretch the floor as a point guard. He could play in the post. He could still get those rebounds, like I said. He could still get those assists. And he could be a rim attacker, which we know that he can be and that he can eat in. Okay? And he won't have as much pressure on him if his knee is hurt. He won't have as much pressure on him because he doesn't have to be the primary playmaker. He doesn't have to be the primary facilitator. Okay? So... That would benefit Ben, you know, getting healthy too. And Kyle Lowry is a guy that can play off ball as well. So we can have a lot of different combinations at the guard position. Imagine Kyle Lowry playing with Tyrese. Those are two guys that's not scared to go drive and go get a bucket at any given moment. Y'all better put some respect on Kyle because I know a lot of you guys were in my community post saying, Kyle, who, Kyle, who? Y'all better put some respect on Kyle. Okay, Kyle was the number two guy with Kawhi. That was enough to get it done. Okay? Playoff P wasn't enough to get it done with Kawhi, but Kyle was. Okay? Now, is there anything else I have to say about Kyle? But yeah, like I said, we just, you guys already know we need consistent shot creators, especially when we get to the playoff time. Tyrese is looking great, but he's still a rookie. We got to know when we get to the playoffs that it's going to be consistent, okay? We know Seth, what Seth can do, but like I said, we need consistency. And for things to go right, Seth and 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 in our current starting lineup, Seth, Danny, and um, Tobias all have to be on 100% for us to make a real push in the playoffs. And is that going to be guaranteed? Not necessarily, but we know it's going to be guaranteed in Kyle. And we know that Ben can, you know, gobble up them points if he's playing in the low post. 
So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you keep rocking with me. Keep rocking with the channel. I already know a lot of you guys don't have a lot to say, but this is a scenario where we keep Ben, we keep MB, we offload that heavy Tobias contract, and we get a floor general, a guy that's about that life on both ends of the floor and Kyle Lowry. It just makes our defense even stronger, and it makes our offense even stronger as well. So I don't see what's wrong. Bye!